This is a video for section 11.2. We're finding the areas of trapezoids, rhombus, and kites. 11.2. So the first one that we have is the trapezoid. This is considered one of the bases, so we're going to call it base 1. And then this whole thing is the other base. We're going to call it base 2. And over here would be the height. So this is the height. And these are the bases. We're going to add them together, multiply by the height, and then I'd say divide it by 2 to get the area. Let's take a look. Here's the height. We're going to do 6, open parentheses. The base is 7 up here, plus 10 down here. And then we're going to divide it by 2. Since we don't have any variables, all we have to do is put it in the calculator. 6, open parentheses, 7 plus 10, close them. Hit enter, then divided by 2, just so the order of operations is correct. The area is equal to 51. For the next one, what we're looking for is this length right here. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and this is a short leg. So we take the short leg and multiply by the square root of 3 to get the height. We're going to go ahead and use the decimal approximation for square root of 3 is approximately 6.93. And so for this one, we have the height is at 6.93 multiplied by the basis, which this is 5. And then this whole thing is 12. If you're not sure what the bases stand for, please let me know and I'll help you. Don't forget to divide by 2. Since there is no variables, we can just go ahead and put it in the calculator. 6.93 times 5 plus 12. Hit enter, then divide by 2. 58.91 would be the area. For this one, what we need is this whole base right here. We already know that this part right here is 9, so we're missing this piece right here. How do we get it? We need to take 7 and divide it by 2. That's the ratio. We take the hypotenuse and divide by 2 to get the short leg, which is 3.5. Here's the height over here, so we didn't need to solve for it. So the height is 6.5 times the basis, 1 is 9, and then the other one is 9 plus that 3.5, which gives you 12.5. And then divide it by 2. Go ahead and just put it in the calculator. 6.5 times 9 plus 12.5, and then divide by 2. The area is 69.88. If a trapezoid has the height of 5 and a base of 6, find the area in the area of 48 units squared. Find the other base, so we don't know one of the bases. So I know the height, 5. I know one of the bases is 6. The other one, I don't know, so we're going to leave it as a variable. And then divided by 2 is equal to the area given. So all I did was substitute in the values. I have taught you to multiply by 2 to get rid of that division. So 48 times 2 is 96 is equal to 5, 6 plus b. What you could do is the distributor property. What I'm going to recommend that you do, though, is go ahead and divide by 5. That would still cancel that out. You have 19.2 is equal to 6 plus B. And then minus 6 to both sides. 13.2 is equal to B. All right, for the next section, we have the kite and the rhombus. This is the rhombus. What I want to remind you of the rhombus is that the diagonals are bisected. That means these two are equal and these two are equal. For a kite, the only one that's bisected is these two. These are not equal to each other, nor are um, they're not bisected. So these are the diagonals. <coughs> And 
that are multiplied together and then divided by two. All right, so let's take a look. We got six plus six, so one diagonal is 12. Four plus four, that means the other diagonal is eight, then divided by two. There's no variable, so we could just say 12 times eight, and then divided by two, 48. That area is 48. And this one, we know that these two are equal to each other. That means this is four. One diagonal then is eight. The other one is 10. We're gonna divide by two. The area is equal to 40. On here, we don't have this measurement, but it is a rhombus. So whatever this measurement is right here, this one will be the same. So we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. Three squared plus, that's the right angle right here. So X squared is equal to five squared. That means this length right here is four. That means this one is also four. So you have one diagonal that's eight and the other diagonal that is not uh, six divided by two. The area is equal to 24. Then the last one, if a kite has a diagonal of six and the area of 48 units, find the Find the other diagonal. Okay, so what we have is one diagonal is six. I don't know the other one, but that is divided by two, and that equals this area, 48. So you can multiply by two and then divide by six, or you can just simplify that fraction. The reason that I didn't simplify it here is because it's a decimal. So I can do 48 is equal to 3D divided by 3. 16 is the other diagonal.